Years after a portion of the old Pascagoula High School was converted into affordable housing for seniors, now this developer is hoping to make an expansion. Stephanie Poole explains. They're old uh, school teachers. They're you know retired firefighters. They're people that contributed to this community, and um, you know they very much deserve a home. Developers of Intervest Corporations Jack and Steve Nail continue their fight to build more affordable housing units in the Bayside Village Senior Apartments. This time, they're locating the new project on the school science building, but it's going to take a special use permit approval from the city to renovate. You know, we're able to do something with this old vacant building and turn it into something I think the community needs, and we've had a lot of support. Uh, from the outside, you know, community as well as our tenants here. Back in April, Neil says Pascagoula Planning Commission gave the green light on the project, but the idea wasn't approved by the mayor. In fact, during the April 16th meeting, Pascagoula Mayor Jay Willis denied the push for more affordable housing in the city. With our goals in working and trying to renovate everything in the downtown area and bring up the quality of living around here, I'm just not convinced we need more low-income housing in our downtown area, Mr. Nail. Please don't call it low-income. That's exactly what it's you told me. It's affordable. It's that's the tech, the section of Section 42. That's what they call it. But it's affordable, and there are a lot of people that want to live there that ha that think that it's the greatest thing in the world. I'm just not sure that's the spot they need to be living in our wonderful it, city that we're trying to bring the I, quality of life up. They may not be able to meet the $1,500 or more, you know, uh, rent that was proposed. But you know, we we you know, have a mission to provide affordable rents to elderly. WLOX reached out to the mayor's office and no comment was provided. The board tabled a discussion to another city council meeting last Tuesday. Steve Dale says when he bought the campus, the science building and band hall were donated to the Maritime Museum. The band hall now holds an exhibit and the science building awaits renovations. A lot of interest, people come from all over to see this museum and they've run into some hard times and we're trying to help them out of it. So once we get this building uh, started and finished, we'll be able to give them a building debt free. What's next in the process to potentially bring back this item to the city council? We're, we're seeking uh, an appeal process. We've got 10 days to appeal. Uh, the vote. We're looking at this Friday to appeal, um, but we're also, um, you know, trying to get the word out that, you know, this is needed and, you know, we need to get another meeting um, to re-vote. Re in Pascagoula, Stephanie Poole, WLOX News Now. Intervest Corporation developers say if the project is approved, they're, on, they're aiming to build 23 housing units in the old science building.